driving down the highway. Hey everyone, Camper Killer here. Out killing campers today, <laughs> or at least trying to. Uh, this particular one, <laughs> I'll tell you what. Uh, the guy that uh, went through and rebuilt this uh, was an absolute um, genius and an absolute moron <laughs> all at the same time and I, I don't mean to be disrespectful to people but uh my god uh, his building uh, techniques are not standard <laughs> in any fashion well let me turn it around here um, now I had this uh, hole opened up um, already I had taken a fireplace out of this uh, a while back and so I've been working on taking off the aluminum off the outside on this side, but there's two coatings of aluminum. He went through and uh, sealed up a lot of the windows and stuff like that. He was he had, this was a grow unit. He was actually growing marijuana in this, and he didn't want the smell to get out, I guess. Anyway, uh, when he framed in this. Uh, this opening where he put the fireplace in and uh, had a window right here. He did. He used oak. This is oak, and um, <sighs> the screws won't turn out of it. Almost impossible to cut, really. I mean, really tough stuff. Anyway, you can see the mismatch of wood and um, whatever he was trying to do here. The wiring is atrocious. Um, that's just scary beyond scary. Um, anyway, this used to be a window. It was all filled in. He'd completely uh, filled that in with uh, insulation and then had it covered over with aluminum. And uh, he had this uh, visqueen or uh, plastic sheeting uh, over the outside as a thermal barrier and a, and a moisture barrier. Yeah, so he had thermal for the insulation and moisture barrier. So you can see how all this was wet uh, underneath that plastic that I when I took it off. Everything, it was holding all this moisture inside of it, which was in between two pieces of aluminum. But it just it's just beyond anything I've ever seen. Uh, you see he has a house window in here. And uh, I've got to go through, still pull out some of the... the quarter inch headed or whatever bolts has yeah, screws on there um, so this is all the aluminum that was on the outside of this aluminum <laughs> so double the aluminum I guess we get double the value here um, same with this here uh, this this is the aluminum that he had up over the top of it and underneath there is a piece of plywood where he had sealed off the back window and underneath that is another piece of aluminum and that's what this is this is the original aluminum uh skin that went to it and i have taken off the door which is right here and i started taking off the ladder which i need to go up on top and remove the rest of it so and of course this edge is folded over right here so i have to go through and pry all that out to uh both pieces are folded over on the on, uh, to the back side so i had to peel both those off still have to get the windows out of this side and a few other little items but everything is so caulked up and glued up and tarred up i mean it is just i knew this one was going to be bad i knew it was going to be tough but i had no idea uh till you really get into it i had no idea that he went and put another whole siding pieces of siding over the original siding he just recited over the top of it and it's not even a great job i mean I, I i mean i could see if he made it look perfect and it was just a turd underneath like polishing a turd but it what it's not even that attractive really um you know if you would have seen this thing everything was sealed on the inside with this um uh every type of uh sealant and uh, it was aluminum covered uh styrofoam uh, then that was sealed over with aluminum tape and everything trying to keep the smell of the marijuana inside so anyway I pulled out the lights here I've been chipping off some of this insulation I 
I, I don't need to. I was just kind of seeing what was under there, and I got a few pieces of wood out of there. And uh, this uh, black piece of metal down here was actually on a piano hinge underneath, and it was just would flop up and down. And uh, it just, I mean, it, this is just such a poor uh, design, a poor uh, application, and yet it's so sturdy because of all the tons of screws and the amount of caulking that he put in it that this thing is literally basically just screwed and glued together and uh <laughs> so i get to try to decipher what he did and of course try to go backwards on it so i've got to pull windows next out of the inside uh i gotta get start getting this other side opened up but anyway we'll get the whole thing uh skinned get the windows out of it the doors already off of it We'll get the thing skinned uh, and the windows out and then uh, bag up all the insulation and which will be a lot. He really insulated the hell out of it. Uh, I've got to get there's a broken refrigerator on the inside. I've got to get out and I have a chair sitting in there uh, from another RV. Uh, need to cover it in plastic and get it put in the in the area where I sell parts and basically go through and just keep tearing this thing down. Hopefully uh, by Friday. Hopefully by Friday. Well, today's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, two more days. Hopefully, we'll have uh, have it skinned and uh, maybe emptied out. And uh, who knows? Maybe even tear the roof down, get it dropped to the ground, and then uh, we disassemble the roof and get it all tore apart and um, get it down. And I've got to get the wood floor off. That would be the last thing I do. And and uh, whatever else is underneath but I get this one down um, it's kind of nice on this one is that when I get this vehicle uh, all tore down I can move the frame out into the field to sell it uh, I, where I put them in a row when I'm out there selling uh, I've got a, a few of them out there to sell that um, it actually opens up there's a RV on this, this side over here and there's an RV over here and uh, they're next and I could put the pull the trailer and my mom even mentioned this because uh, she's she keeps track of what I'm doing out here and she had mentioned yeah you can back the trailer right in between and scrap out from both sides and it's true and uh, so this one's gonna be a big load of lumber uh, you know probably another forty dollars or more at the dump uh, to haul this one off and then the other two will come out to about another forty dollar loads to the dump and uh, but if I can get all three of these uh, campers done, uh, the two on the ends are basically already tore down, just down to the wood. Uh, Got to pull off the wood floors and uh, finish putting all the parts up on those, and then uh, we'll have this whole road done and we'll have have it cleared out. So anyway, just thought I'd give you a little uh, view of what the nightmare I'm working on and. Uh, I'm, I say I'm already about eight and a half minutes, so we'll get out of here. We'll see you soon. Camper killer, see ya.